Alright guys, this is a continuation of... Which one is this? Man, hold on. Of fleeing the complex, fleeing the wall. Alright, let's get into it. So, last we left off, we did this path up here that took you to the dinghy. So now we're going to go to here and we're going to help Ellie up. And I'm like, look at how much I care. I don't care. I ended up buffing up my guys and doing like 70 damage. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> ah, oh, we gotta go with the tall guy. Okay, facing the same deck. Hey, buddy. I don't see how being taller was supposed to help you there. Oh. Um... Bounce bros. Oh, yeah, that's not. I kept facing the same deck. Mm. Do you really need to be so extravagant? Synchronized takedown. Oh, yeah, that's not. I kept. <laughs> Got him. Let's go. If we can get you up there, you could get in and open this door. Ah, the Graviter version 2.0, obviously. Ooh. Newton 6 law. Use gravity. Use the gravity knob to reset gravity to the default setting. Nice. The force, obviously. Come on. Sniper taser. Holy crap, that worked! Hey, I just grabbed these. Maybe they'll come in handy. I thought you press. We'll regroup with a uh, third floor. We'll help them clear out maximum security. What do you think? Duh, I like. Who get the guards? <laughs> Looks like they bought your disguises. Hey, get the guards! <laughs> Blend in. Hold the elevator. Thanks. Can you believe this inmate outbreak? Crazy, huh? Yes, it is pretty crazy. Oh, are you guys new here? Oh, yeah. We transferred from the eighth floor. From the cafeteria? Nice try, inmates. Oh! <laughs> Was that guy a detective or something? <laughs> There is convict here. Get down and, uh... oh, I don't like it. Henry! Help! Back to your cell, inmate. Boing. Oh, wait, that's the dude from the beginning. It's the third Captain Falcon move. We gotta go for it. Oh. You win. Perfect. Wait, what's this dude doing back here? <laughs> that was actually... <laughs> that was actually perfect. Adrenaline, obviously. Oh, and then you just... Okay. That's nice. Make a face. What, you think that will upset me? Oh, very much. Nice! I guess. Now let's get out of here. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> Looks like you need one of these. A crossing guard. Hey, look, there they are. There they are. Cool. Alright, how about this? Alright, yeah, we're good. Uh, who's driving? <laughs> Didn't your mother tell you not to get into vans with strangers? I guess this is a truck. Well, if it isn't Henry, there has not been an incident here in 50 years. And the day you show up, this happens. You are going to regret everything. Mm -hmm. Ooh. 
Convict Allies. That was a clean hit. Oh my god. We got all the endings. We just need five more fails. Nice. We didn't get any of these. Wow. Alright, crossbow sniper rifle. Let's see that instant replay sound warning. Oh, guys. Turn turn down your, your headphones a little bit for this one. Don, dude. <laughs> Yo! Electricity plus grenade equals crazy explosion, apparently. Crossbow grenade. If he's go down, he's taking you with him. Ooh. Talk about commitment to the job. Uh, judo throw, obviously. Ooh, right into the wall. That's about... Teamwork I expected. And then this one. Oh no. Oh no, guys. It's the meme. Oh yeah, last night. Notorious failster. <laughs> I just what? <laughs> anyway, all right. That's the end of the that's the end of the base game. Now I'm just gonna go ahead get all the bios, get all the achievements. So clutch. Apparently he's here somewhere. Okay, got him there. There he is. Yes. I'm off. <laughs> uh, sir, I got a message. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, it looks like uh, Henry Stickman. Stick Stickman. Yeah, Henry Stickman has escaped. You still there? Okay. Their power jump. What's this one? Nice. Yeah, baby, stuck the landing. All right. Found Waldorf. Nice. All right, and that's all the achievements. All right. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the video. It means a lot to me. Uh, if you like the video, smash that like button. 
hit the subscribe button, hit the bell next to the subscribe button. You'll be notified of all my post notifications. And as always, thank you guys for watching. So, it means a lot to me. I know I already said that, but I really can't emphasize it enough. And I'll see you guys in the next episode where we will play episode 5, Completing the Mission. Anyway, I'll see you guys then. Alright, now we're reading bios. Henry Stickman, back in jail, huh? The icy cold cells of the wall will be hard to escape from. Ellie Rose, she's locked up in this place too, but why? Dmitri Johannes Petrov, the warden of the wall. There hasn't been any sort of breakout in the 50 years he's been in charge. Grigory Gregory Oliot, the warden's second in command and main muscle. He gets brought in for the difficult jobs. Charles Calvin, he doesn't mind helping out an old ally even if he's currently on a mission. Reginald Copperbottom, seems like he's been, seems he's been managing the top hats in Henry's absence. He'll have to go back to being second soon. Heath Stone, he guards the storage room with his friend. They love to talk about their favorite mobile card game. Isaac Binderson, he guards the storage room with his friend. He loves collecting random trinkets, as we saw. Horace Johnson, one of the guards, is one of the guards responsible for the cell block patrol. It is not eventful unless all the doors happen to open. Mike Mulligan, kind of a slacker, he likes to find secluded place and mess around on his phone. Ibrahim, Ibrahim, Jocelyn, a jolly lad, when in good, when in a good mood, he treats his friends to lunch on their break. Joris Borger. He doesn't speak English too well, but he found a crew to wor at work that he loves to hang out with. Good for him. Travis Ump. He enjoys his job at the wall because he gets to hang out with and chill with his friends. That doesn't mean he slacks off. Olaf Nordgren. He usually makes his own lunch, but won't turn down a free meal. Smart man. Nikolai Dietrim, a master of the Slav squat. He runs a class on it twice a week in the rec room. Mateus, is that is that it? Mateus Guardsmith. Don't tell anyone, but his mom bought him those earmuffs, and he's a bit embarrassed about it. It's all right. You can wear them. Gary Men question mark 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 I'm gonna be so embarrassed if I miscounted Captain Laszlo Ugovich the captain of the naval division of the wall he is in charge of one ship the only one the wall has Milosh Krowalski, a recruit in the Walls Naval Forces. They run a sea-based retrieval. They run sea-based retrieval operations. Thormund Rilak. He finds his work post very dull and uneventful. He rel relishes a challenge. This dude who shot me. Friedrich Spillane. Spillane. One of the members that doesn't, one in a group of members that doesn't speak any English, he supposedly speaks German. He does. Harold Cooper got a job at the wall through his German friend. His English isn't the best, but he's fluent in German. Will Speck. He is the type of guy that won't stop trash talking the other team when watching a sport when watching a sports game, even if they can't hear. Louis Stoop, he likes his job at the wall, but hates being stationed out in the cold. Koka Kolinsky, he used to fight professionally, but after losing to a first time fighter, he hung it up to work at the wall. Good job, little Mac. 
Andre Warzaw. People have said he used to lead armies. He really knows his way around a tank, so maybe there's some truth. Karlov Chernik. A master swordsman hired by the wall to train the employees. His skills with a blade is something to behold, but I stabbed him and killed him. Carl Pinkerton. He may not look it, but he's traveled the world. His head's looking a, like an orange in it. His head's looking like an orange in it. Newt Stoneheel. The Stoneheel family is known for their strangely dense feet. Interesting. Franz, Pf Franz Ferd. Honestly, he's pretty clueless. Most of the time, he just... He's just meant to look menacing with a spear. Daniil Dolch. He lived, he's lived in the area all his life and really knows how to handle the environment. Lemoy Kruitz. They call him DK. They called him DK for a little while. It's short for doesn't know how to drive. <laughs> he's since gotten his license. Jimothy Johnston. They never had to take the cars out before, so he's really just winging it. Lee Bumbler. He dreams of starting his own gaming company. He's already got a name picked out, a name uh, named after himself. Lee Bumbler. Lee Bumbler. Bumbler. Tumblr? No. What? I don't know what that's trying to reference. Hold on. I guess there's no explanation. Okay. Willie Wagner, a fairly recent employee of the wall, still getting into the swing of things. Nadia Marikova, she's here as part of an internship. Her real dream is to open up her own complex. Oh no. Wallace Pemberton, he spent three years undercover at the wall, waiting for the right time to bust out. All the captured Top Hat members. Jim Pinkson. He loves jelly and jelly sandwiches. There's so many possible comp combinations. Cat Kadu Itu. Aitu. Aito Ito. He's known how to bend since childhood. He's kept it a secret until this moment. Ryan Halbeard, one of the youngest employees at the wall. His dad is one of the higher-ups, so he gets special treatment. Wow. Joe Joshin. Just Joshin, yeah. He's heard that joke about <laughs> seven million times. Gordon Smith. Having a newborn at home causes him to lose a lot of sleep. He's been falling asleep at work a lot lately. Joey Walnut. Tends to order enough food for three people and eat it all on his own. Jesus. Salman, he forgets to bring his uniform in at least once a week. Sten Villo, his favorite post is on a fire escape. He can watch the snow fall into the ocean below. That's so peaceful. Too bad we had to kill him. Kurdru jo Johansson. Johansson. Kurdru Johansson. He gets a lot of slack for wearing sunglasses at night. It's just his style, baby. Alex Kemptner. He's been trying to get a SAM turret installed at the complex for years, but can't get through the bureaucracy. 
Arnold Schwartz, always the loud one in the room. His voice is booming for his size. Arnold Schwartz. He says, come on, Henry, get to the job. Yeah. Wilhelm Krieg, as he may struggle with technology, but when it comes to action and combat, he excels. What a guy. Sure Shot Sherman, one of the top, one of the top riflemen in the Top Hat Clan. He's been, he's leading the mission to rescue Henry. Wow. Thomas Cheshire, he's enjoyed Henry's brief leadership. People could tell he was bummed out when Henry went missing. I and mean, that's why he was like, oh, Henry. Mr. Cooley rarely speaks as charisma speaks for him. Mr. Cool. Wild Willie, he thinks his... He thinks he's a prospector from the 1800s. Seems he went a, on a bit. He seems he went of a bit of a ran, on a bit of a rampage, granting him a stay at the wall. Gastro, the practitioner of the dark arts of phacromacy, he's a toilet wizard. Fecro phacromancy, like fecal matter, ew. Punkhauser, he's part of the notorious German biker gang. He's the only member to have been caught so far. Not anymore. Uba. Found frozen deep in the snow on Svalbard. After thawing out, he regained consciousness and became hostile. Angry Mike, a wanderer, traveler in the desert. He's become notorious in the area and had to be collected. Why? <laughs> Jack <laughs> Stick Guy. Jack Stick Guy. I can't believe Jack Septic Guy got a reference in this game. That's insane. A crazy loud Irishman. Not quite sure what he did to get locked up here, but he probably deserves it. Now, nah, lay off my man's Jack Stick Guy. Gus Garno, this guy is a four-armed alien. I didn't even realize that. Apparently, he's used to. Apparently, he used to be a big-time racer. Oh, okay, cool. Wait, why does it? Why does it look like three of his arms are coming out one side? Alex Apex, the raddest dude at the wall, just a total bro, just a total chadster. Melvin Poolridge, even though he's extremely nerdy, he loves to hang out with the boys, trademark. Derek Gurlick. He doesn't have much of a sense of humor, at least during work hours. Colby Phelps thinks of himself as something of a detective. He can easily become hostile if he, suspe if he suspects any foul play. Dan the Man. That's me. Dan the Man. He wanted to go by Dan of Steel, but it was taken. <laughs> Little Mikey, he is honestly not supposed to be locked up at the wall. He was just in the wrong place at the wrong time and took the fall for someone else. Poor Little Mikey. I hope he gets out. Pierre Fran Francoisi. I don't know how to pronounce that. The most notorious baguette burglar in France. He was finally captured when he tried to take down the biggest bakery in all of France. Babushka! Babushka! While babushka is a female term, he wears the title with pride. He has a soft interior and looks out for the downtrodden. Uh, yeah, Valky Ray just put out a babushka video. It's pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Carl the Clown. He ran a huge circus scam ten years ago. He avoided the bust multiple times by dressing like a clown. Wow. Polis Petrovic. He won a sweepstakes and got to name a planet after himself. <laughs> oh my god, the Among Us lore in this game. Dude. Kyle Baxter, he's actually the Wall's CCC liaison. Their goal is to get priority during any possible chaos incidents. Not this one. Sh 
Sean S. E. Lemming, a natural leader, mainly because it's the role he was assigned. Fun fact, Jacksepticeye's real name is actually Sean. No, that's not the same last name. Same first letter. No, that's not true. It's McLaughlin. Sean McLaughlin is Jacksepticeye's real name. Oh well, I'm, I, as you can tell, I'm a Jacksepticeye fanboy. Mark Emu. He said he's. He said he'd try not to laugh, but then he laughed. That's grounds for capture. Misha Sashavo. He used to be part of a crazy group of mercenaries. He was the only one to be captured, and he's honestly probably the most sane one now. Poor guy. Peter Waylands. He did one of those scare people to bring down the land value so that he could buy it for cheap russes, but it was foiled by a group of kids and their dog. No way. Reference Scooby-Doo. And Ray R Rodolfo. He's come down with a case of leprosy, so he's been put in quarantine with the other sickly inmates.